I definitely agree with, I'm definitely on this uh, very similar page as you guys. Cause I have two separate experiences with this movie watching it recently just now. And I've seen it many times when I was like a, between like 11 and 12. Um, and at that time uh, I went to a, a, a really good school called Gordon school. And in fourth grade, for some reason, the academic like curriculum got really difficult. It was a tough year. And the winter of fourth grade to me as a kid with a kid's sense of time seemed to last forever. And so I have a lot of nostalgia because when I saw it as a kid, I saw this first saw this movie in the winter on VHS and to an 11 year old, it felt like this big epic comedy adventure. And like, they're talking about, you know, the mm. path of the brave. And I love the opening where they like perform that, that ceremony that they like, you know, call back to later. So at that age, as a kid, that mysticism and the, and I thought Ernest was hilarious. Like I was really, really into it. Um, but I have a similar experience. We're watching it now. Like I, I enjoy it for the nostalgia purposes. It's, it is like, it is amusing if you would just want like completely like stupid humor. And like, I just find, you know, Ernest and his antics so dumb and so ridiculous that they're highly amusing. But I will say watching it now, it's not that the magic is entirely lost because I can recall what it feels like, but that's definitely not my reaction watching it. Like just, you know, point blank these days. Um, it feels a lot that the, the movie used to like that final battle used to feel really big to me. And the movie used to feel like this whole like world of a camp. And now watching it, I can feel the very low budget nature of this movie. Um, <laughs> the, 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 in fact, the final scene when like the sign is like when he's fallen off the thing and he's like underneath the sign and the main camp guys like, well, at least no one got hurt as this pullback shot. I used to at when I was a kid, I was like, oh, the movie's ending. I feel like, you know, sad and like what a great to be part of the summer again. This time I just watched it and I was like, I just saw like a Dolly Crane shot and like a couple of extras standing in the background. I was like, oh, um, but lastly, I will end by saying what I do enjoy about it is the the Looney Tunes, like almost kind of vicious humor where like no one in real life would close a bus windows on, on his hands and like laugh at him. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's funny. Yeah. It's like brutal. Or cover or like, up the bus driver's eyes while they're driving and endanger all. Of yeah. Their lives. It's, it's, it's like so <laughs> twisted or like when the, co- there are things that like he would have been killed, but like, like when the Coke machine falls on him, that is like, that is just, I like do want to circle yeah. back to this in like a minute. That. Cause it goes so much further than the typical slapstick, which is, I wonder because it's not gratuitous in an adult way, like a lot of stupid humor is, it is still a kid's movie. I wonder if it, that's why it got like ultra violent. I mean, he gets shot at. I was not (laughs) expecting that. I I did have that kind of like Rambo esque, like, you know, like sort of like violence at the end. Yeah. Vernon and shit. Or I I like to call him a, a, Dean Vernon from like animal house. That's where I remember him from. Like he's, he's like outright, like, wants to murder him like yes <laughs> i think i would i would Where's finish my thing i'd say this i would i think this movie deserves two and a half stars i might be being way too nostalgia generous where i would just like <laughs> barely give it a three uh but i it, it's yeah I'll, I'll give it three but that's being like super i'm like being kind to like the memory of my like 11 year old self who I have long since parted ways with. <laughs> You're allowed. 